Hi all, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, make compound nodes. So let's go ahead and have a look how to do that. Okay, to the right here I've got a whole bunch of balls, uh, instanced balls, which I'm going to randomize the textures on. So I'm going to shift left click on that and it opens up the surface editor and let's go ahead and edit some nodes. Okay, first of all, what I'll do is, is I'll import a node that I call the super node and just show you what it can do. So if I right click inside this area here, we get this dialog box, import nodes, and I'll import my super node. Yep, that's right, it's a super node. Now it's actually a compound node, and um, before I go into uh, the internals of it, let's have a look here, you can see we've got um, a bunch of outputs. We've got color, space, animal, 3D and all. So let's plug these in and see what happens. First of all we'll go with the color. So what we have is randomized color. The next one is space which are space hull images, random uh, space hull images. Next one's animal which is a bunch of animal skins. The third one fourth one I should say is uh, 3D textures over here that we got bricks crumple so on and so forth and the last one is all but the color all wrapped up in one simple node so let's take a look at it if we double click on it you'll see the inside of that particular compound node and we have a whole bunch of other compound nodes with our output. So let's have a look at the first one, the color one. Double click on that. You'll see that I've got a instance info which is under spot, <coughs> which is used to randomize the colors. And next to that, <coughs> we have a gradient with a whole bunch of colors, with a whole bunch of keys of different colors. And all set to step so that we get a nice uh, clean. Uh, division between the colors and that goes out to the color output so if we to go back or out of these each one of these compound uh, nodes we just double click on either the output or the input and let's have a look at the next one the next one's space hulls and you might be familiar with this type of setup from my previous tutorial raycast node and flocking um, what I've got here is just a bunch of image map nodes with different textures on them and I've set them to spherical in the Y automatic sizing for these balls and they're plugged in to a gradient which also has a bunch of keys but each key is showing the output and various different colors with the yeah, instance info to randomize it and that goes out from the color to our output so I've got one for space hulls, I've got one for the animal skins, I've got one for the 3D textures. And this last one down here is basically all three of these inside of this uh, compound node. And that's plugged into a, once again, a randomized gradient. But this time it's a bit different because we've got some inputs as well as our instance info. So what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you how to make this node here, the all node, um, because it uh, allows us to show you how to set up the in input and the output. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to copy, I'll double click on this, I'm going to copy these two and go back out to main area, control V just so I don't have to go ahead and make these all again. Okay, so I'll go back in and double click on all and I'll grab these three. Control C and Control V. Okay, so let's get rid of our super node now. We don't need that anymore. So if I plug this 
into the color you'll see that it gives us the three random colors that we have in our gradient and what we want to do is we want to be able to plug these into this to control all three of the basically to have all three of these textures be randomized and then package that into one simple node so let's go ahead and start creating compound nodes okay first of all if we go over to tools under tools you'll see compound double click on that and that creates a compound now double click on that you'll see that there's input and output so it's pretty much empty what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight them two and cut that double click on a compound and paste it in there so basically all we do now is from our color output into new and that now creates if we double click and go out that now creates our output which is color and what we can do is we can either right click right click on the word and rename sorry uh, node menu rename it or remove it alternatively we can do it on the compound node itself right click rename I'll just call this surface color okay so if I plug that in now you'll notice that we get our random colors okay so the next step we want to be able to plug these three um, compound nodes into this which I'm going to right click and rename and call it fixed random that's our fixed random node and the way we do that it's very simple is we basically come from our output and that's any kind of output really we can just keep plugging it into new and it'll just keep creating all these inputs I'll just control Z that so we've got our first one space we grab the next one go into new grab the third one and go into new and like I said earlier you can just right click on here and rename it or remove it that just removed it if I right click on the animal one and remove that plug it back in it creates a new one now you'll notice that I've got the three texture compound nodes plugged into my fixed random but nothing's happening if we double click on a fixed random node you'll notice now that the input has got some outputs I guess so what we need to do is go from each one of these into each different key and you'll notice now that we get our random textures from our texture compound nodes onto our balls so that's it that's pretty much how you create it and the last step is to basically create a new compound node highlight all of these control X double click on the compound no node control V select our output double click on that and now we have our random compound node which I call the super node you can rename that super node and then you can right click on that and you can export the selected and then give it a name super node there you have it so I hope it's helped um, give you a little bit of an understanding on compound nodes and how they work and um, how easy it is to set them up and basically have one simple node to do a whole bunch of stuff now this these nodes apply to textures but you can pretty much create whatever you like and package it into a compound node so I hope that's helped I'll see you next time